Charles just up uh, with the team news from the I noticed Kits and, and Steph went out, out there today. I think Kits has COVID. Uh, so are they both not going to play tonight? Um, yeah, they've uh, missed today, but um, they'll do their own session separate from the group. Um, so um, we're expecting them to be um, OK, hopefully, tomorrow. Steph, is that also a sickness thing? Yeah, look, they both, um, after the trip back from Wellington, um, um, felt a little bit under the weather, so we've just kept them separate from the group. Um, we can't you know, afford to take um, risks with... Uh, um, you know, too, too much illness going through the group, so um, we've just kept them separate and they'll train separate from the group. Right, so you've already got a thin squad and then you've got um, this obviously out as well. Uh, how difficult does that make it when you've got sort of adjusted preparation? Yeah, look, um, you know, that's uh, the challenges that you have over the course of a season, you know, players coming in and out, um, we've had it all season, so we're, um, you know, we're... Um, we'll back how you, you know the young players that will come in and, and replace um, those players. So um, yeah, look, it's the way it is. The squad has to to deal with that. Are you confident they'll play? Then it's just a matter of yeah. Look, it's um, you know we, we won't know till tomorrow how they feel, and you know we also have to take consideration the um, the extreme heat that will be tomorrow. Um, so we won't make those calls until you know after they do their sessions later today and, and see how they um, you know rest overnight and see how they feel tomorrow. Uh, with Issa, is, is that just a, swat, a straight swap most likely with, with Ryan coming in? Yeah, look, um, you know, we've got a couple of options there. Um, you know, um, Ryan can come in, Johnny can come in, Dizelle can come in. So, um, you know, Zach didn't play last week as well. So Zach um, is available as well. So we've got, we've got the options there. It's just about finding the balance that's going to help us um, um, get the victory. Do you feel a little bit like Groundhog Day at the moment after the past few weeks? It's been obviously a few weeks where results keep not going away, but if you look at the, the stats, it's not maybe as bad as, as the scoreline suggests. Yeah, look, it's, um, you know, I suppose that's the frustration of, of the season so far for us. Um, you know, the only stat that matters at the end of the day is, is wins and losses, and, and at this point in time, we just haven't picked up enough wins. We're, we're well aware of that, we're disappointed, um, but in saying that, you know, that um, we've been able to, you know, give um, players, younger players, a lot more minutes than what we expected at the beginning of the season. Um, so, look, in the end of the day, you know, we, we want to be a lot higher than what we are and we just have to keep keep pushing to get there. I think uh, it's close to becoming the worst home run ever in the history of the club. With a derby game, of course, coming up, how much uh, do these sort of games, if you are to get a win, sort of boost the confidence around the club for, you know, home fans that haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, look, it's always an important game, you know, these games, it's, um, it doesn't really matter where where you are, you know, you, you know, victory last year was struggling down the bottom of the table and, you know, this year they've bounced back a little bit, so um, it's, these games are, are big games, you know, for the fans and the players, so look, we'll just go out there and, and, and try our best and, and to get the, the results that we needed. Does it amplify its importance, though, when when things aren't going well, that a win can be a, a thing that, oh, at least we beat victory, whereas a loss can be, you know, it's made things even worse? Oh, look, we've you know set ourselves high standards and we know we haven't uh, reached those standards this season, um, so it's important that we just keep pushing um, and and get to the, to the level that we want to get to. It's important um, that we improve our quality uh, and get... Um, the results that we, we want to get. I think um, at the start of the season you, you had that great line of, you know, encourage our players to, to hate, hate Victorians since then. Like you say, you've had to play more young players in, and you like how pumped up are those boys to to come, come up against uh, Grand Victoria? Yeah, look, in the long-term future for the club, it, it's a, a positive thing that we're getting a lot of minutes into to a lot of these younger players. Um, so the, you know, the future will be promising in that regard um, and you know a lot of these younger players you know they've grown up um, coming here to watch those games so they're you know looking forward to, to playing in those games as well um, so look we just have to um, keep having you know being positive with the group um, and just keep pushing them to to raise their their levels um, obviously it feels like about 10 years ago now but the start of the season uh the away fans were banned and then they were brought back for this game. How good is it that you know we'll be able to have 
away fans here and able to have a, a proper spectacle of what the original rivalry is. Yeah, look, th- these atmospheres at these games are, are always fantastic. Um, and that's something that's really important that the fans um, enjoy coming to the games. You know, they, um, without them, we, you know, we wouldn't have the league, we wouldn't be playing. So it's important that, um, you know, we recognise that. And that's why these games are, are such great games, because the, the involvement of the fans and the atmosphere that they create. I have to ask you, of course, this week with the whole Mutual Tour situation, have you sat down and spoken to him in one of those conversations? Oh, look, um, you know, it was a difficult time f- um, f- for Musa. You know, he's a young person. Um, he he realises um, um, that he's made a mistake and, you know, we'll keep supporting him and keep working with him like we, we support all of our players. Um, and, you know, he, he'll move on. Is it a case, obviously, this club has been so involved in inclusivity and they've got the, the flags up at the, at the moment. Is How important is that to the club? Yeah, it's very important. It's, um, I think we've always said that it's um, really important that we're inclusive of everyone. You know, it's important that you know all of our supporters that come um, feel um, they're part of the club and included. Um, and that's something that we've been pushing. And, and I think we're sort of ahead of a lot of other clubs um, and other sporting organisations as well. Um, but as I said, you know, young players, young people, you know, they all like to um, express their feelings on social media um, and you know something that um, we're working with uh, young players not just most all of them um, on what they need to be um, doing.